Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Pharmaceutical Concepts and welcome to the next part of Woodward Fisher Rule. In this video, we will learn how to determine lambda max for the compounds having alpha beta unsaturated system. We have already learnt in the earlier video what is alpha beta unsaturated system. What are the various base values for different kinds of alpha beta unsaturated systems? What are the various incremental values for the alkyl substitutions or ring residues and extended conjugations at different positions in alpha beta unsaturated system? Also the incremental increments due to double bond extending conjugation, exocyclic double bonds, homodyne systems. These things we have already learned in the earlier video. Yes, these are some of the additional values which were not there in the earlier video. For example, hydroxy substitution, halide substitution, alkoxy substitutions, amino substitutions. So these substitutions when they are present in various positions like alpha position, beta position, gamma, delta and higher positions, they cause different degree of increase in the lambda max of that particular structure. Let us practice. So this is our first structure. Let us try to determine its lambda max using Woodward Fisher rule. So as I see, I see this carbonyl group over here. So adjacent carbon is alpha, then we have beta, gamma, delta and these, this is the higher side. Okay. So, as we have learnt earlier for alpha, beta unsaturated system, the base value is 215 nanometers. Then, yes, um, I see third double bond also. So that is the, see this is the first double bond, this is the second double bond and this is my basic diene system, right? This is the diene system that is alpha beta unsaturated system. In addition to these two double bonds, this third double bond is also there in conjugation. The third double bond has to be in conjugation. Then only we can call it as extended conjugation and then we can increase the uh, value by 30 nanometers. Then next what do I see? Next we should always look for the ring residues. Let us see. At alpha position there is no ring residue. At beta position no ring residue. At gamma position. Yes. At gamma position I say this particular substitution which is a part of ring. So I call it as gamma ring residue. And at delta position also I see this ring residue. So ring residue at gamma and delta position. So at gamma and delta positions the incremental values are same that is 18 for each. So that becomes 18 into 2. So I have to add 36 units for the ring residue at uh, gamma and delta position. The next is alkyl substitution. So alkyl substitution as we see at alpha beta there is no alkyl substitution. At gamma, there is no alkyl substitution, but at delta, I see this CH3 group present. So, that increases the, that is 18 into 1. So, it is 18 units, I will add, for the alkyl substitution at delta position. Okay. And now, I don't see any exocyclic double bond over here. No other substitution is present. So, 299 is the total of all these values. So, this is the uh, lambda max that is the calculated uh, lambda max of this particular structure that is 299 nanometers. Hmm? We can also call it as theoretical lambda max for this particular structure. 
yes so the next structure let us try to determine its lambda max first thing which i observe is this carbonyl group present so just besides the carbonyl group this is the alpha carbon beta carbon i see unsaturation at alpha and beta position so i am identifying this particular uh, structure under alpha beta unsaturated system okay this is my first step then what do i see this is the diene system this is first double bond this is second double bond so this is diene system in addition to these double two double bonds i see this third double bond also and that is in conjugation with the earlier two double bonds so i call it as extended conjugation so this extended conjugation adds 30 units to the base value i forgot to write yes base value is 215 nanometers okay then next uh, what do i see i see ring residues okay so ring residues let me tell you at alpha position what do i see at alpha position this bond is present at alpha position okay at beta position there is nothing at gamma nothing at delta i see this so alpha position the ring residue at alpha position increases the lambda max by 10 units then ring residue at delta position yes ring residue at delta position increases the lambda max by 18 units okay see uh, those uh, who might uh, are uh, confused for uh, identifying ring residues okay just a quick revision uh, for you all uh, just give me one minute yes yes here if you see uh, this is the uh, first carbon second carbon third fourth and fifth carbon these all carbons these all carbons are now a basic system basic system now i have to see what is there on each carbon so this is the alpha carbon what is there on this alpha carbon this bond is there on beta carbon there is nothing on gamma there is nothing and on delta this bond is there and since these bonds are a part of ring we call it as ring residues okay now in addition to ring residues uh, i see there is one exocyclic double bond so exocyclic double bond increases the lambda max by 5 units exactly similar to the uh, 1,3 beta diene system okay so so what which is the exocyclic double bond is this double bond exocyclic no this double bond is not exocyclic this double bond is exocyclic okay so if at all you have forgotten how to identify exocyclic double bond how to identify ring residues please refer to the earlier videos where we had discussed in detail so this is the calculated or we can say theoretical lambda max for this particular structure next structure quickly we'll finish again this is alpha beta unsaturated system yes very correct so for this alpha beta unsaturated system the base value is 215 nanometers okay base value now what is there after base value we look for yes after base value we look for extended conjugation but i don't see any third double bond in this particular structure so directly we'll proceed to ring residues now is is there any ring residue at alpha position no at beta position yes this bond is there okay so ring residue is present at beta position and how many units i have to add for this i have to add for this yes 12 units right now what do i see i see alkyl substitution okay now there is alkyl substitution so this alkyl substitution substitution okay so alkyl substitution is present at 
alpha position at alpha position there is hydroxy group present so hydroxy group present at alpha position increases the lambda max by 35 units and one more uh, alkyl substitution uh, at beta position so at beta position there is presence of ch3 group so that increases the lambda max by 12 units and there is no exocyclic double bond please remember we never call it as exocyclic double bond okay and the addition makes it 274 nanometer this is the last structure for this video for which we are calculating the lambda max so i see a five membered ring over here and this five membered ring has alpha beta unsaturated system into that since the ring is five membered ring the base value changes and that base value which we have learnt earlier is 202 nanometers okay so let me first number them as alpha beta gamma delta okay so i see that this third double bond also over here so i call it as extended conjugation and for this extended conjugation how many units i have to add i have to add <clears throat> 30 units right now what is there at alpha position is there anything no at beta position this alkyl group is present so alkyl substitution at beta position okay so that increases the lambda max by 12 units then i have gamma yes at gamma i see this ring residue at delta i see this ring residue so ring residue at gamma position so at gamma and delta position i think the value is same so at gamma and delta position we can see since these are two so 18 units for each so 36 units we can add okay then is this bond exocyclic to any ring no is this bond exocyclic to any ring yes this bond is exocyclic to this ring if this ring is a if this ring is b then this particular double bond is exocyclic to ring a okay so for such exocyclic double bond we have to add 5 units and the total comes out to be 285 nanometers so this is the theoretical lambda max or the calculated lambda max for this particular structure thank you for watching stay tuned to my channel for more updates on pharmaceutical concepts bye have a nice day